Navi. I work as an application engineer with Concept Shekhanet. In this quick video, let me show you how to set up a transient uh, thermal analysis in SolidWorks FES simulation. So uh, here we have an uh, assembly consisting of a base part as well as a four chips mounted on top of the base part. So let me go with the thermal study, new study, thermal, click OK. So I'll just rename it as a transient, transient uh, thermal analysis. So I'll just right click on the study and properties. Here you can see the transient. So I'll go with the total time of 900 seconds with the step increment of 30 seconds. With automatic solver selection, click OK. So now we have set up our transient thermal analysis, and the next step is to provide the metal properties for all the four different chips. So I'll just go with my custom material, chip material, thermal conductivity, which is dependent upon the temperature. So here you can see the temperature with respect to the thermal conductivity. Apply close and for the base part I will go with the aluminium alloy 6063 which has a thermal conductivity value of uh, 218 I will just click apply close so now I will provide the uh, thermal loads that's heat power so I will just select all the four different steps 1, 2, 3, 4 I will just select all the four different steps and I'll just give the values 0.2 watts. And now I'll just select the time curve. I'll just activate the time curve here. Edit. And here I'll just provide the values. So here you just have to provide the input time curve with respect to 0 seconds, uh, 0 watt, 30 seconds, it's 0 0.9682 multiplied by 0.2 as well as that. 90 seconds is 0 0.9997 into 0 0.2 and again at 900 seconds it's 1 into 0 0.2 full 0 0.2 watts which will be applied so I'll just click OK OK and then I'll go with the convection value so I'll just select all exposed faces so software will automatically select all the faces which are exposed to the ambient here so I'll go with the value of 25 and the ambient of 300 click ok so here we can provide a initial temperature I'll just go with everything and select 300 click ok so you can even hide all the input I'll just save it and I'll go with the create mesh I will go with the second order uh, curvature based mesh with the default values. Click OK. So once the mesh is created, you can check the quality of the mesh, right click, details. You can see the maximum aspect ratio which is 4.2 which is less than the 5. So the quality of mesh is good. And I will just run the study. Right click, run. So here you can see the Degrees of freedom, okay, number of nodes, number of elements. And once the entire study is run, we'll just check out the values. So once the study is run, you can see the maximum temperatures. Right click, edit definition, Celsius, with the chat value of floating. And I'll just click OK. Here you can see again the maximum temperature is 56.75. And you can take the probe and click on the different locations. Just show the values. And you can go with the response graph here. So you can see how the temperature is varying at the different point of time. There is a response graph with the x value as a time and y value as a temperature in terms of Celsius. I'll click OK. I'll click OK. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.